Hey guys, it's Dan here, and today we're going to be making this. So we're on another minifigure, and today I wanted to look at the other demographic that I have, which is female viewers, and we're going to be making Belle. And if you look really closely over the thumbnail, you'll notice that she even has a Wonder Woman tiara on, or, well, headband, whatever it's called. And the reason she has her hands out, and I thought this was going to be hilarious, is if she would hold just random objects and just uh, look like she's out of place in a world that she's not meant for. So that's why I designed her like this. So let's get into the build. Okay, so for making this model, I downloaded another posable figure. And uh, unfortunately, this bill, it was the only bill I could find that looked anywhere near good. And some of the other ones like had weird texture issues. But this one, when you pose it, its bones don't work the way it should. So like if you move the arm and most of the things, you would expect the hand to move with it. But no, this one just randomly moves things all over the place. So that actually getting this to be posed was a harder thing. And if you notice that top part of her dress right there on, on her shoulders is like super messed up on the one side. And I had to take this into mesh mixer and really edit a whole bunch of stuff like cut the file in half and mirror it over and all that stuff. So that way it all works out. And then I also separated her shells uh, to the hair, the upper torso, and the dress so I could print those at different times so that way I would have easier time printing them and then I'll glue them together later at the end. And also I could paint it a little easier with them being separate. And in the description I'm going to link the original bell that you can pose so you can struggle with it too, see how fun it is. And I'm also going to try to post my files that I made for you to print off yourself also. And just for fun, in the middle of sanding, I put the hair on her. And one thing you'll note is she looks sort of really shiny at the dress. If you take like a cloth or a paper towel when you're in the process of sanding, you can really polish all this stuff up, the uh, primer. And that makes it so you can see like the low spots of the primer that still need to be sanded out and it really gives a good contrast. So I'm about to take the hair off and do another layer of primer and then we'll be done with that once we do a light sanding and we'll do the full paint. All right, she's all nice and polished up. We're gonna be using some yellow and let's get to it. Yeah, so we got some hair, and this hair is going to be painted, so let's prime it, and we super glued it to the stick so we can take it off later and hold it and all that stuff. So priming, and then probably hand painting only. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, one second. We got Belle here with the Wonder Woman tiara on. We're going to take a small brush, probably this one, and paint her face and arms. So her arms only show under the gloves, so they're here and here. And we got some flat flesh, so let's paint with that. Yay, now let's do eyes and tiara and all that stuff. And for the hair, we're going to take a little bit brown paint just for the base. All 
Okay, so we're gonna let all these dry. Everything's gonna dry. Then we're gonna go with second layers and all that stuff. And then lights and darks and highlights. For the hair, we took some yellow and brown, mixed it together, did some highlights. Now we're going to do the band. So let's take some yellow and really carefully put this on here. All right, we're gonna do multiple layers once it dries. Yeah, so Belle and her hair are done. We're going to glue them together once it's dried for a little bit more so when I push them together it doesn't like I don't know smear the paint or something <laughs> and then we're gonna do some sort of top coat hopefully to protect the paint for gluing purposes we're going to scrape this paint off so the glue will stick better with an exacto knife and then we're going to get in see if this super glue I have has any left and glue it on so let's get into that uh, that should be good enough take the hair Break the stick off. Hope, hope beyond hope that this glue still has some left. I see some up in there. It just doesn't want to come down. Momentary pause, folks. Last of the glue. Let's get it secured on. Oh gosh, come on. Oh, come on. Fit at one point in its life. Ah! Come on! Okay, so there's gonna be some touch up. I hope that glue really takes hold because her skin's a little wrinkled. I'm gonna have to do some touch up on that. But there's Belle. So once that's touched up, then I'll finish. So let's look at some photos of her up close and these are going to be some funny ones. And you'll also notice that since she's also cosplaying as Wonder Woman, she's able to do something like this. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> All right. So as far as stuff like this goes, I can make other action figures and you can suggest those in the comments because this is, this is starting to look like something I might do more of in the future. Uh, you saw my Deadpool one earlier, where I made him lounging like he's laying down on the bare skin carpet. And there might have been a sneak peek in that video to something that I'm making in the future. So try to scrub through there and figure out what I'm making. Uh, it's probably a mini action figure. So, And also, if you want to see some cool shots of stuff like this, you can check out my Instagram. And that should be on my profile. So, if you have all this stuff, you see support like this, these are people's names. They're helping me on my Patreon, and they help with making stuff similar to this, or any project really. And you can check out all the benefits on that page, link in the description. You can see some videos over here, where I'm making some stuff. I might also be doing parkour, or combining them, just like the last video I did. And you can see some links over here, where it's my Patreon and subscribe links. Subscribe and Patreon, just in case you wanted to not be lazy and scroll down to the bottom. You can just click those. We'll see you in the next video.